Welcome to the video of my top 10 two stroke bikes made of all time. Just a few special mentions for those that didn't make it into the top 10 list. Here we go. First special mention goes to the FS1E or the Fizzy. How many of us started off here? No tiny little engines burning around in our youth, pulling little wheelies, having little bits of fun. It was our introduction to bikes, wasn't it really? And still nowadays they're going strong and let's have a listen. The Kajiva Mito Evo. Said to be the fastest 125 you can buy. Easy to de-restrict, 30 brake horsepower, 100 mile an hour, and they look like a 916. The British made Langan two stroke, 76 brake horsepower, 250cc made in this day and age, just unheard of. Let's have a listen. The Bermota VG, the bike that bankrupted the company. Their own made 500cc two stroke that basically put them out of business. Suzuki GT750 Triple, affectionately known as the Kettle or Water Bottle or Water Buffalo. Now remember, this is my top 10. If you disagree at all, that's cool. Just comment, tell me what you think. What bikes would you have included? What bikes do you think I should have put at number one? Let me know. Number 10. Kawasaki KH500. Triple. About 50 brake horsepower. 110 mile an hour. There's one that goes up to Box Hill at the weekends and it's been resto modded. And it's just gorgeous. It's always up there. And whenever I see it, I've got to get some footage of it. I've got to sit around and wait for the guy to start it and leave because it just sounds awesome. Number 9, the Kawasaki KR1S 250, said to be the quickest of the 250s released in that sort of era, some claims I've seen of in excess of 130 mile an hour. Let's have a listen. Number 8, the Honda NS400R. When everyone else was releasing 500cc two strokes, Honda decided to release the 400. A little less powered than all the other guys and that's why maybe it's a little bit way down on my list. But still a gorgeous bike and again there's another one that goes to Rikers at Box Hill quite often. 
and I'll stare at it the whole time and sit and watch and wait for him to leave just to hear the sound. Talking the sounds, let's have a little listen, shall we? Number seven, the Aprilia RS250. I remember riding one of these when I was too young to ride one, really, and getting stopped by the police, and they were just so in awe of the bike, they didn't really ask me for any details. RGV250 engine in Aprilia's own frame. It's the quality of the build and the reliability that lets it down a bit for me. I've, I know a few people with them, and they struggle. Number six, the TZR250 3MA. And the reason I say the 3MA is because I just love those twin exhausts hanging out the back. Nice bit of smoke leaving behind you. The TZR is a bit of a special bike, isn't it, really? Let's be honest. They're a Yamaha's answer to the NSR and the RGV. Let's have a listen, shall we? Number five, the Suzuki RGV250. Lovely in their lucky strike colours, isn't it? Just iconic. I remember growing up and they were just they were everywhere. Smelt lovely as they went past. But still, an awesome bit of kit on their own, and they even inspired Aprilia to go out and do their own thing with one. Number four, the Honda NSR250. I'm probably a bit biased in this. A, it's a Honda, and B, that it's currently the bikes that I'm looking at. The MC16, 18, 21, or 28. Probably the 21 in my in my view. Just iconic. Race pedigree. Beautiful sounding. So well made. Let's have a little listen, shall we? Because they're just gorgeous. Number three, and we get to the big boys now, the Yamaha RD500, or as it's known overseas, the RZ or RZ500. Just a, an amazing piece of kit. There's four exhausts out of the back, two out of the tail, I like that. Just lovely, smell lovely as they go along. 
The big brother, obviously, of the RD350. So much race heritage to them. Wayne Rainey springs to mind. Just an awesome bit of kit. Let's have a listen. Number two, the RG500. Absolute fan favourite, and I know some will be disappointed that it's at number two. Quad exhausts, just like the RD, but Suzuki's answer to it. Just an amazing bit of kit. Again, I'll speak about the one that's at Box Hill every, all the time, and it's just lovely. I followed it out of Box Hill back in the summer and just sat behind it, just loving the smell and listening to it. I didn't want to overtake it. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a listen. One you've all been waiting for number one what could it be my favorite two stroke ever had to be didn't it the yamaha rd350 it's iconic and it's just what we all grew up with loving it's the bike that we all can see ourselves riding it's just epitomizes the two stroke for me and i'll shut up now because why do you, you don't want to listen to me Listen to that lovely RD350 engine. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Obviously, you're going to disagree with my list. Please feel free to comment what you'd have had in it, what you've had at number one. Or did I miss out? Anything? Cheers. Bye.